Greetings and salutations, everyone, and welcome to Let's Play Call of Cthulhu, Dark Corners of the Earth. I'm Camchak Fisco. Come join me for a creepy adventure. Shit. Yeah, we're gonna see something horrible. There we go. Ramona? Ramona? <laughs> Daddy? That wasn't creepy at all. Sheba's girl, can you stop visiting us? It's creepy. Some kind of... Oh, what are they? Uh, a greenhouse, I think. Does that go in the middle of the room? It does. Blast it open. Oh, cool, our pistol's full. So we can start using that instead of wasting shotgun shells. An ugly stone statue. <laughs> it suits the place. Oh, I got a melee weapon! I got the knife! About friggin' time! Jeebus. I guess it doesn't go anywhere. Alright, what do we got in here? Ooh, shotgun shells. I'll take that. Still need more, Some but... smokes and a desk lamp. Not much of any interest. I don't have time to study these books. You have time to study this? The large mural is engraved with text from some ancient language. The fireplace is empty. Okay. Books and ancient manuscripts. Most of them in foreign or strange languages. That's this door. We still got that door, that door, and that door, but we can't really open them. We also have... Like one back over there. Oh, Rude. Why did this door shut again? Okay. That's weird. It won't budge. We don't have a key for these, so I'm not sure what we're supposed to do. It won't open. We don't have anything new, so it won't budge. It's not like I can. I, I don't have some kind of, you know, hoodoo nonsense to crack open the doors. Did I miss something? Can't open those. It's just a statue. I've seen more impressive displays of foliage. Alright, I'm gonna have my knife out just because I don't waste ammo when I'm stabbing with that thing. Nope, can't do anything to that. Okay, I get the feeling that was supposed to happen the first time. From what I can figure, most of these volumes cover the occult. Why is that tilted? Alright, so if we go back the way we came, I wonder if I can use the knife to, like, stab one of the paintings? In that one room, maybe the switch is behind the painting? Or can I not even get back there anymore? I won't be able to open the door with this barrier in the way. Yeah, I still don't know how to open that. It won't open. Okay, I can't reach the save, and I can't move forward. So about that. It's some sort of winch mechanism. It must be for raising the stone disc. Oh, that stone disc. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Uh, can I break through doors? Nope, not really. Alright, I gotta be missing something here. Oh, I thought there was suddenly a book there. I was like, where did the book come from? I'll need to decipher the symbols to understand it. Well, hello. I don't have time to study these books. Oh, that's weird. The book kind of stood out, so I thought there was something with that. Can I get over this on the way out of here? Oh, I could have just jumped over that the whole time. That would have been nice to know. There's something about the candles, This maybe? large table is most likely a meeting place for the esoteric order. Uh. Since I don't know what's ahead, I'm just going to go ahead and grab everything and save. When we go up, it's a one-way trip. We grabbed everything we could up there, and it's cyclical, and now we're back here again. 
So it turns out I totally forgot about the safe. And, uh, let's see which room is it in. Nope. Over here? Yes. And the date, 1878, that we just got, so... Makes sense. Yes, that's it. The safe holds a pistol, a crumpled scroll of paper, and a heavily bound manuscript embossed with the word Ponape. Uh, grab it. Um, gra grab it. This looks like it's been personalized. The letters Mackie have been engraved along the barrel. Well, we found Mackie's gun. Alright, so... Aya Dagon. Oh, okay, I did pick up something, Lorish. Oh, that's the that's the scroll of paper, right. The scroll of paper holds the prayers the holds a prayer to Dagon, translated in English. It reads, In thy name let us behold the Father, from the depths of the water I come, and from the depths of the deep ones also have come. Hail to the ancient dreams, hail to Dagon. Ponape Scripture. This heavy bound manuscript is embossed with the word Ponape, and it claims to be reprinting the original manuscript written by Captain Abner Ezekiel Hoag in 1734. Describing his encounters with the strange cult in the islands of the Pacific. Hoi claims that the islands worship and even interbreed with strange beings from the sea and reproduce much of the lore of this unspeakable religion and reproduces. There are harrowing passages that tell of unspeakable sacrifices by which these deep ones are appeased and of objects cast into the sea to summon them. By means of the correct rituals and offerings, they can be induced to bring fantastically worked jewelry of gold for the islanders. Although this conforms to their own strange anatomy rather than that of any human being. Hoag recounts the Islanders tales of fantastic underwater cities constructed according to some obscure and inhuman laws of geometry and architecture. Some legends tell of Islanders transforming into sea creatures as they grow old and going to live forever beneath the sea. We've kind of seen that. The greatest of these deep ones, Father Dagon and Mother Hydra, are said to be fantastically old hailing from a time before the first human walked upright. Strangely, he stressed that these stories are not primitive metaphors for an afterlife. Afterlife. Like similar tales from the island cultures, but recounts them as actual facts. He claims to have seen and conversed with these creatures himself, and witnessed several of the islanders' ceremonies and offerings to them. Yeah, we've seen examples of that shit. But no more evidence, no more journal entries. Heavily bound manuscript, translation is so many... Oh my god, we can translate the glyphs with the damn book! Why didn't I think of that? And we've got the prayer now, so we should be able to, um... Do our thing. So we got Mackie's pistol back, but we still gotta get the key to get him out. So the trapdoor is the only way to get up. Okay, wait, what about this blue door? Can I do something with the... Can I read this? Can I translate this? According to the text, only a prayer to Dagon can break the seal. Okay, we got that. Apparently not. So the prayer of Dagon doesn't work? Uh, okay, I guess we go back up then. One way trap door. Okay, so what else can we translate? I don't understand. Does it say the same thing? According to the text, only a prayer to Dagon can break the seal. Okay, so we can't... What am I missing now? Do I put the prayer... Do I put the, the scroll here? No. The book? No. Alright, so we don't have whatever goes here. That... Don't get hung up on that. Uh, let's see. What else was up here of significance? Oh, right! We can translate this. The Book of Dagon is missing a few of the symbols. It's a prayer of some sort, but I can't complete the translation. Okay. So, what, oh, right, we're injured. I forgot to fix that. Alright, so... It's an incomplete prayer. Where do we get the rest of it? Why does the door just keep randomly shutting? That's really odd. I'm pretty sure there's nothing else up here. Let's take a poke around down below. Can I use the Book of Dagon to at least read the uh, symbols on this thing? Let's find out. Nope. 
Okay, so we got a blue door, door upstairs. Wait, was the one upstairs? Okay, so this one must lead to the room we saw, and the one upstairs goes somewhere else. Do I have to let Mackie out first? Well, no, I wouldn't be able to let him out. We don't have the key yet. There has to be something I missed. Don't move! That's the one asshole we didn't get. And he's just running around below us, so it doesn't matter. Alright, so that's gotta be the one we saw downstairs. So the blue one up here goes somewhere else. Hmm. It says we're missing part of the prayer, though. Where do we get the missing symbols? Huh. Wait, what if I use the scroll on this thing? The prayer to Dagon reads, Bahuin and Kugnath, Fanu Naimna, Vuna Glazai, Vuna Glazana, Kulth, I a Raikazengaro, I a Dagon. Did we have to learn how to say it in the original language? Was that was the was that what the problem was? Okay, so we can't translate it now. Okay, so I guess we have to translate it back into English, and now we know how to lower the portal, I guess? And the symbols we were missing were on the scroll. Okay, that made sense, actually. Behuin and Kugnath, Fanu Neimna, Vuna Glazai, Vuna Glazana, Kulth, I, uh, Raigazengaro. I, uh, Dagon. Um. Oh, cool, it works. Come here, buddy. I got a bloody knife for you. Seriously? You're gonna run and hide like chicken shit? What? No. I'm not gone, you're just stupid. Alright, you dumbasses are dead. I know there's some ammo downstairs, so... I guess we're gonna use the pistol for a little bit. So there were three assholes left up here. Got it. Ooh, is this ammo? That was probably stupid, but I did get more ammo for the... Machine gun. That probably was really dumb to do. Um, get, get the These keys. look like the keys to the cells. Now I can free Mackie. What does this do? The book contains details of a blasphemous ceremony. Such as? Do I need to decipher it? No. Okay. The text is difficult to read, but there are passages of a sermon referring to the Old Ones and the coming of the great priest Cthulhu. Anything else? Most of the text is handwritten and barely legible. I don't need it. Alright, so we got what we wanted out of it. Oh, we lowered, like, all the blue ones and we did that. Not just the one we were working on. I wonder if that'll open the other door now. Still never got in there. These should be the cell keys, yes? Keys to the underground cells. Let me go save the game real quick, and then we're gonna let Mackie out. Um, actually, I'm gonna save the game real quick, and then I'm gonna go see if that incantation works on the front door. Because I doubt it does. It was a different colored field. I don't think it's gonna be the same. Ooh, wrong way. This must be the mural Mackie was talking about. I won't be able to open the doors, they're tightly sealed. Nope, it won't even let me do it. You won't even try to read the incantation. Wow, we got Cthulhu vision, what the hell? That's nah, not what I want, I want to go over here. My personal thanks to each and every one of you for tuning in. You all are awesome viewers. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. It means a lot to me and I do hope you enjoy them. So you all take care of yourselves. If you want to see more of me, queue up a video on the list or stay tuned for more. Feel free to leave a comment below, and please remember to tag that like button if you enjoyed the video. In the meantime, fare thee well, everyone!